Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 984 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have a really fun e.l.f. product to try out. This is their monochromatic multi-stick that I picked up in the shade Sparkling Rose. And I actually picked this up from CVS, which is a mistake that I've now learned because it's more expensive to pick up drugstore makeup from CVS, whereas this retails for only $4 at places like Ulta. And it comes in four different shades. And I think this sounds really awesome because you can apply it to eyes, lips, and cheeks. It's cruelty-free and vegan. So I'm so excited to see how this looks. Oh, I think I was wrong. I think this actually comes in eight shades. So let's see what Sparkling Rose looks like. Ooh, so this component, this little kind of chubby stick twist up, I have seen many times in actually dollar store products. So it'll be interesting to see if this, I mean, it's still very inexpensive, $4, but it'll be interesting to see if it's worth more than those $1 products that I've tried out. So let me start out by doing a little swatch. Ooh, a nice creamy formula. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a good wash of color. Has a little bit of sparkle shimmer to it. Kind of looks like silver shimmer in it. And that really is just a tint. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my finger to try and apply it and see how that method works to start. And first off, I wanna try it out on my cheeks because I love a cream blush and a shimmery blush. And this is like a berry tone. So a good fall winter shade. Yeah, the amount of pigment that this has is a great amount for a blush because it definitely shows up a lot on the cheeks but it's also still buildable and I like that it's got some shimmer like a little bit of sparkle to it but it still doesn't look too glittery at all on my face it looks like a tiniest little hint of glitter which I love so there's how it looks I'm not like crazy about this shade I don't feel like it's the most flattering shade for me. Let's see if I go in with a little bit more. <laughs> Not like that's gonna make it look any better, but I just kinda wanna see how it really shows up. It's definitely buildable, and it really gives rosiness to the cheeks. But on my skin tone, it just might be a little bit too dark that it doesn't look flattering. <laughs> it more looks like, in my opinion, it just kinda looks more like blushing, like a flush to my cheeks, but not in like a cute sun-kissed flush, just more like too rosy on my cheeks. And even like, let's go ahead and try and not add too much. Even if I'm not adding too much though, I still just feel like it's the tone, like it's just a little too dark for my fair skin to be super natural and flattering. But the formula of it is very nice on the skin and on top of my makeup, it looks smooth. It doesn't emphasize texture. So for blush, I think I should go with more like a lighter pink, peachy pink, would just look better for my skin tone. But let's see how this is on my lips. I'm gonna start out with my finger, but maybe I could just apply it directly to my lips. Oh yeah, that's pretty. See, like this is the kind of reddish, rosy pink berry shade that I like on my lips. I like the shade, like a darker red on my lips more so than on my cheeks. But I wonder, maybe if I have that monochromatic look of this berry red shade all over my face and all over my makeup look, maybe it'll look more flattering. This is a pretty lip color though. Kind of like a tinted balm with a little bit of sparkle and it feels very moisturizing and comfortable on my lips and i like that i can get a tint of color or if i'm applying it directly from the applicator here it shows up with 
more pigment. I feel like that already makes the blush look a little bit more flattering with my skin tone and my makeup look. Now I'm really interested to see how this is gonna look on my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger. Cause I don't typically like to use a reddish pink on my eyes because once again, I don't want it to look like like redness or like a rash or something on my eyes. That's just what I worry about when I wear red or pinks on my eyelid. So let's see how this is. I'm kind of trying to really blend it out all over the eyelid, which is looking sparkly and pretty. Yeah, that actually looks really flattering. Like I really have just a subtle hint of the color which I think actually looks really good. Like look at how that just emphasizes the eye on this eye compared to this eye. It really does add a lot to the makeup look and it totally pulls the whole look together. It makes the blush look more flattering. The lips look like they go perfectly with the makeup look. Ooh, I'm loving this matchy matchy monochromatic look and it's so easy you only need the one product and it's all super flattering and cohesive and it's only four dollars for that one product and it's super quick and easy to apply because of that cream formula so it blends out so easily so that i can get that just tint wash of color all over the eyelid but still see that shimmer sparkle Wow, yeah, I like how this color looks on my eyelids so much more than I was expecting. Like it doesn't look like red, irritated, rashy, which sounds so gross, I'm sorry, type of eyelid look. Like it looks like a pretty, neutral actually, shimmery eyeshadow look. And I'm checking to see if there's any creasing in the lines in my eyelid and there's really not it looks so pretty and flattering even so on my lips and my cheeks i feel like my cheeks look so much more toned down now than when i first applied it so wow i am very pleasantly surprised by how flattering this monochromatic look turned out to be and i'm actually very happy with this sparkling rose shade but i feel like all of the different shades of this would be just as flattering and cohesive and a beautiful monochromatic look so this is just so fun and it really saves time and it saves products I love this I feel like this could be a day to night type of look so maybe like even if you just wanted to wear it on the cheeks during the daytime and then to transition to nighttime you put on your lips and your eyes it'd be so quick and easy to do that and you know it's gonna look flattering and all cohesive for that beautiful monochromatic look I never really think to do a monochromatic cohesive look, but I really should do it more often. Like using your lipstick on your cheeks or your eyeshadow on your lips or your cheeks, something like that. It ends up looking so great, but I just have so many makeup products that I never really think to do that. But let me know in the comments down below if you have any favorite products that you like to use in a multitasking, multi-use type of way, if you have any you know, lipsticks that you like to wear as blushes or other way around, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.